Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 25. Yes, I actually said 25. Everyone, we'll see how many times I get that uh, wrong here in the next uh, couple weeks here as I'm still getting used to uh, saying Farming Simulator 25 here, everyone. Uh, we are playing on Bhutan Pen Thai? I, th I think that's how you say that. I that's, a that's what I'm going with anyway, everyone. Uh, again, this is the South Asia map here. Currently working on harvesting uh, rice. We've got, I think, one more field after this to uh, harvest. Yeah, I've got the hired worker on this uh, job right here. I actually did all the headlands myself. And then I set up the hired worker to just do the uh, up and down passes on the field here. So kind of some uh, cool options that you can do with the, uh, the hired worker there. And then, yeah, we'll have to see what's maybe about getting these uh, fields replanted here as well. Interact, huh? Let's see. Field number, empty, flood. And does it let you flood it right now? I wonder. Just out of curiosity, I've got, uh, where, we got one field that's harvested already. Is that this one up here? I think that's this uh, one up here. I uh, picked up a fertilizer spreader in between episodes here as well. Speaking of fertilizer, you know, if we're going to flood the field, probably should, uh, doesn't let me flood it, huh? Field number, size, rice, water level, 0%. Hmm. No idea. Maybe there's something else you got to do before you can, uh, flood it. Maybe we'll have to, uh, look into that anyway. Let's see once here. Oh, don't need that one open. Let's see once we're at here on these uh, fields. I did do some work here in between episodes. Okay, so yeah. Uh, field 31 is... You know, field 30 is fertilized. Uh, 31 just finished being harvested there. Uh, which, by the way, I found out here, everyone. Uh, we were talking about this here uh, last episode. Uh, one of the little uh, pro tips in previous versions of the game. Whenever you bought a field, you should always try and see if you can fertilize it. Because a lot of times, everyone, and a prime example here with... Uh, field, I guess this one really doesn't have a number. It's like two of them to combine here. We got 31, so 31, 1 and 31, uh, 2 here. Um, yeah, when you first buy them, or in this case, when we first start the game, they do not come with fertilizer on them, right? So go see if you can uh, fertilize them. And in this case, Evan, it doesn't seem like you can do that here anymore in Farming Simulator uh, 25. Um, I don't know, kind of, sort of, maybe... Fix that. I don't know if it's really a bug per se. Just, uh, yeah, a lot of times when you buy the fields, there's no fertilizer on them. So, first thing you do when you buy the field, go see if you can fertilize it. And it didn't always work in 22 of them. Sometimes you could, sometimes you can't. So, maybe that's this uh, scenario here as well. Maybe it's, it still does work. Just uh, in this case, it's not working. I'm not sure. But, uh, okay, we're going to get the hired worker set up on this uh, field here. Uh, we're going to turn headlands back on here. I had them turned off again for the other field. And we're going to start with, uh, yeah, we'll start with the headlands here in this case. Uh, again, like I said, on the other field, that one, I had turned off the headlands because I ran, ran it myself. So it's like, well, there's, there's no need for the hired worker to do those, right? So, yeah, I think that's probably one of the, uh, I don't know if that's the biggest change or not, but that's definitely a big change here in Farming Simulator uh, 25. Uh, Giants has definitely improved the hired worker. So good. We're not going to get stuck on that. It's a little concerning. It's like, that is close. But yeah, we actually might finally have, dare I say it, everyone, some intelligent hired workers? I don't know. Do I dare say it, everyone? What do you folks think? I, if you folks watching will have to let me know as well. Maybe you folks uh, have had a different experience than me. Maybe some hired workers doing some uh, stupid things. I don't know. But uh, so far, everyone, the hired workers have worked. And, like, yeah, they do headlands. And, uh, yeah, seem to be doing a good job here so far. So, we'll yeah, see what's if that uh, continues here or not. I'm kind of curious. But uh, obviously, uh, at least in my opinion, when previous versions of the game, the hired workers were, mm, how do we put this up politely? An abomination? They, they were not good. <laughs> the hired workers were not good in my opinion. Oh, you know what I should probably do? Uh, enter the vehicle here. What are we looking at repair-wise? Because I can see that that number is going up here. And I forget. Oh, you know, we got it. No, it is this one, right? Still getting used to that one. Where is our vehicles again here? Production rice, yep. Might have to uh, look into some of that stuff. I don't have any animals here yet. Oh, is it this one? Yeah, okay, it is this one. 17%, that is on our harvester. I'm not sure at what number... This becomes an issue. I know, I think it was right around 20, was it 25 or 30 percent? I mean, 29 percent. Maybe it was 29 percent in uh, Farming Simulator 22 before you wanted to make sure you repaired that. And speaking of repair, I'm not actually sure where you repair it yet, so we'll have to maybe look into that. Looks like the hired worker is out of spot for him to turn around, maybe? 
I'm gonna assume that's what the hired worker is doing there. Oh well, we'll leave him to it, see what he does. Figure we'll start working up uh, field 30 here, so we're gonna go grab our tractor here, which actually is on the spreader here at the moment. Not one. Oh. You gotta go back? Okay. Ah, it'd be nice if they would fix that. Like, really? Why? How come I cannot click on that from that map? I gotta go back to this map to click on it. That was always my issue on the previous versions of the game, Evan. Like, it would show the stuff on the map, right? But you would not be able to click on it unless you were on the right map. Looks like that is gonna continue here in Farming Simulator 25. Great job, Giants. Come on now. Farming Simulator 25 here. Can we, uh, can we fix some of this uh, nonsense at this uh, point? Apparently not. Okay, no, cultivator's up here. That's right. I'll just uh, park this up here as well. Got our uh, rice planter up there too, so... Oh, and you know what? I just realized something too. Evan. Uh, I believe uh, some of our fields need to be uh, plowed here yet as well. I should probably uh, check in at that. Now, speaking of plowing, Evan, uh, as you folks can probably guess, I have no intentions of uh, using... Uh, where are we at here? Still getting used to this uh, shop layout. Doesn't seem to be... Uh, I don't know. Logical order, maybe, sometimes. It's like, wait a minute, where's, where's the plows? Here's our spaders. Plows, there we go. Yeah, I think it's a safe assumption. I probably won't be using any of those. So we're going to check out uh, subsoilers, maybe. What do we got for subsoilers here? We got a $20,000, uh, like, K-Force. Uh, I don't know. This looks like some uh, European uh, stuff there. Wow. one one point two meters? you got to be kidding me. Yeah, no, not even a consideration. How much horsepower? Three, 350 horsepower for that? Oh, my goodness. Much for this one? 205. I'm actually not even sure how much horsepower a tractor has. I should probably uh, look into that. Uh, we do have an option for a spray, uh, spader as well. Wouldn't mind actually uh, checking this uh, particular tool out of him, but it uh, looks like money-wise, it eh, might not be the best option here. We're a little, uh, little short on the uh, moolah for that. So a lot of different uh, mulcher options there. So I'm thinking of subsoil. I'm looking at this... Uh, K4 400 here is kind of what I'm thinking. We do have a 200, but that is, yeah, 2 meters, 4 meters. That That's a little bit better. How much horsepower does our tractor have? We got the Agco 8150. Oh, it's not going to tell me from the screen? Okay. Not going to tell me from that screen, huh? Let's see, that under medium tractors? Yes, it is. And we have 220. Well, I guess it depends what one we have. Can be up to 225. Which one do we have? Ah, we got the 8510, so we got 160. Hmm. What do you folks think? Not going to pull a uh, subsoil that requires 205? Probably not. Knowing the way Giants does uh, the horsepower. We're going to buy it anyway, though. And then we're going to run to the shop and uh, go uh, pick that up here a minute. Okay, we're almost uh, back to the farm here with our new... We're just going to call it a plow. But I know uh, per the game here, they call it a subsoiler. But for our purposes, we'll call it a plow. This is probably... At least as far as plows are concerned, like uh, about as big as they get here when it comes to the mold board option for plows. I, I, again, I don't understand why that's the only option here in the game. I mean, like, how come there are no, like, proper chisel plows? I don't know. Uh, other than to say, I mean, again, and this goes back to, uh, this is a European-based game. I mean, Giants is based in Europe, and obviously the equipment is very heavily European-based, as is the farming styles. And at least from all the European farming I've ever seen, Evan, they seem to use a lot of moldboard plows over there. I don't think I've ever seen any uh, chisel plows or anything like that. Uh, the European equipment is definitely very unique. Uh, you know, think, uh, again, I, I keep using this uh, analogy, Evan. Go back to the 1950s, and that is European farm. Uh, no offense to maybe any of my uh, European viewers that might be watching, but every time I see it, I'm like, okay, this is... Uh, what what uh, what decade? Actually, what millennium are we in here again? Ah crap! I see stones appearing up. Also, seems like the field is getting bigger. Is this uh? This grass overlapping? So I'm actually gonna go uh, plow one more little strip here because I'm wondering if the grass is overlapping here just a little bit. 
Let's see what happens here. Yeah, we're getting just a little more uh, fields showing up there. And you can actually see a little more uh, field boundary now. That would explain why when we were harvesting them, the harvester was overlapping a little bit. I'm like, that eh, seems like that's like the, the headland doesn't line up real good there. That, that's probably why, one. Probably why. Oh, you know what I should do, I one? I, I keep forgetting this, gentlemen. I keep forgetting. We have GPS in the game now, one. Like, we have GPS. Why am I not using it? That, that's a good question. I, I don't know. Don't know. Uh, we're going to do... I can't do zero headlands, can I? I can't even turn it down. Oh, on AOR. That's why I'm on AOR. We want steering assist. Yeah, I can't even turn it off, can I? Um, I don't think there's a way to. No. Okay, we'll just leave it as is. That's fine. Uh, show lines on, sure. I was just going to go without headlands, gentlemen, but... I suppose we'll uh, we'll do headlands. I should uh, actually know what we should do. We should start with the up and down first then in this case. Probably maybe uh, skip a headland or two once we're uh, done with that. One of the uh, the big differences you're probably going to notice with this, Evan, again, we are using a sub toilet, which actually let's confirm here. Uh, unless it's changed, Evan, a sub soiler did remove plowing in the past. I, I don't think Giants has changed that. Uh, let's see once here. Is that not? No, we must have gone past it here. There we go. Oh, it's turned off. Why is that turned off? I don't know why that's turned off. Uh, maybe I turned it off. I'm not sure. But yes, it is removing plowing. Hmm. And we are getting stones. You folks, uh, for those of you who watch my uh, Farming Simulator 22 videos, you probably know my thoughts on stones. New game, Kevin. So I was hoping maybe, uh, Giants would uh, improve upon the stones here because, uh, again, oh, let me turn, actually, activate the uh, steering here a minute. The stones, I think, was probably one of the single worst features in Farming Simulator 22. I'm like, hard pressed to find something worse than the uh, implementation Giants did for stones in uh, Farming Simulator 22. I mean, it was. It was bad. Like, it was, it, it, yeah, just so bad. It went so incredibly, awfully bad. I was hoping again, like I said, maybe Giants would uh, have seen the severe errors of their ways and uh, would have maybe fixed that here in 25. But uh, from what I'm seeing, it doesn't look like it, everyone. Yeah. So I think what that means, everyone. Where's our settings? Game settings, field stones, off. And I'm thinking, do I dare say never ever to be turned on again for uh, the remainder of Farming Simulator 25? I think I can probably dare say that, but I, I, I don't think we'll ever turn that option on ever again. Again, Giants, like, severely needs to fix that. Like, okay, if we're going to have field stones, like, maybe uh, a few less. We don't have to have an entire field just covered in stones every time. I mean, I don't know what kind of what part of the country you're trying to mimic here, but and like the uh, the large stones that Giant shows in the game here too are so comically small. I mean that uh, most farmers probably wouldn't waste a breath uh, even looking at them. Like those little stones. I mean, not that you'd want those little stones to go in your combine, no, but. Most farmers probably aren't going to waste the time picking them up either. Like when uh, Giants has large stones in the game, like they need to have actually like large stones. For those of you who wonder what order I'm doing this in, I have no idea. I'm just kind of, okay, that looks like a good line to line up with next here. We'll go with that one. One of the things I'm uh, definitely uh, liking the game, Evan, uh, Giants has finally, like, done a much, much better job, I would say, with tracks here in the ground. Tracks, and, and I can't tell, it looks like this is actually maybe, like, real 3D ground deformation, Evan. 
I don't think Giants is like trying to fake it this time around. It looks like they actually are doing real 3D. Watch out. About time. I mean, 2025 here. I mean, come on. It's been a thing for like the last 10 years, 15 years, something like that. Giants is finally adopting that here. So good. That being said, what is everyone else though thinking about Farming Simulator 25 here? Let me know in the comments, everyone. Uh, for those of you who are playing Farming Simulator 25, let me know. Speaking of Farming Simulator 25, by the way, if you don't already have the game, uh, make sure you check out uh, the description here of this uh, video. I've got a couple different ways you can get the game if you'd like. Uh, one of them uh, there on Games Planet will give you 15% off. So uh, use code RD Allen. Again, code RD Allen will give you 15% off. So yeah, make sure you check that out, everyone. Oh, I think. Huh. I think I did that pass, but boy, it sure doesn't look like it's wide enough for it. We'll, uh, we'll assume I did it, and we're going to go with this one. Eh, it's got coverage. Okay, going with it. Also, if there's any other uh, videos you folks would like to see on this game as well, let me know. Um, yeah, any sort of uh, content, uh, information let me know we'll see what's what we can uh, do here i did do a video on how to run the gps here well it looks like i need to run that line too we'll see once here did uh like i said did a video on how to use the gps here the other day so for those who are not familiar with how to use it pretty straightforward i would say Surprised that this tractor seems to pull this uh, subsoiler just fine. I was a little uh, concerned there. Again, this is supposed to take 200 horsepower one, and uh, I think we got the 160 horsepower version of this tractor. So, actually, 8510. No, oh, maybe it wasn't. Medium tractors here. Oh yeah, no, it is too. 8510. That was the smallest one. I was thinking it says 8010 here, 8010 series, but it starts at the 8510, which uh, again is 160 horsepower, but. Oh, hello. I just keep going, apparently. Was not expecting that. But yeah, can't notice any issues. This tractor's pulling it just fine, so... Probably should check to see how our harvester's uh, doing here. Uh, can we see from here? Yep, looks like he's doing just fine down there. Perfect. Okay, one more pass on this side. Got one more pass on uh, the far side there. Looks like one more pass up there, and this field should be uh, done. Oh, question is, are we going to just gonna plant rice back on it here again? I mean, that's kind of what these fields are for. I mean, they're kind of dedicated rice fields here, I take it, with the uh, the pump. Now, here's a question. I think as far as I know, you can actually set this up. So if you want to, like, create your own field, you can do that here. I wouldn't. But, uh, yeah, if you have a map and you want to actually, like, have a rice field, like, uh, is that a field you can create? I believe the answer to that is yes, if I remember correctly. A lot of new stuff to learn here in the game. I mean, a lot of new stuff, so... Nothing wrong with that, if you ask me. Might just uh, take a little bit of uh, getting used to here. And uh, so far, this is uh, something we were talking about in the live streams here last night. Which, by the way, for those of you who like to catch more Farming Simulator content, uh, make sure you check myself out over on Twitch. RD Allen on Twitch. Link is down below there. Just make sure you're following and or subscribe there, and you'll get notified, or at least should get notified, when we go live. Which, again, typically, by the way, is Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, right around the 8 p.m., uh, Eastern Standard Time Zone time frame. Oh, uh, real quick too, I'm going to mention stones here. Obviously the stones yet, I'm assuming everyone kind of like Farming Simulator 22, once the stones are there, they will stay there, even though you have them turned off. So, if you want to get uh, get the stones off, you're going to have to, uh, I think you actually have to turn stones back on too, I think. And then purchase a stone picker. 
and uh, pick the stones up and then turn stones back off and then they'll be gone. That's the way it was in 22 anyway. It looks like it's going to be the same way here in 25. So anyway, again, like I said, more content. Everyone, check uh, myself out over on Twitch. But yeah, speaking of watch, everyone, we were talking about that here on the live stream about farming simulator 25 versus 22. Uh, again, for those of you who remember, when 22 was released, I mean, uh, 22 was uh, kind of an abomination. Uh, yeah, Giants definitely released a half-baked, horrendous... Yeah, it was... Farming Simulator 22 was definitely uh, rough when it was released. I mean, it, like, it was really rough. Uh, I can't say from what I've seen so far, I can't say the same thing here about 25. Seems like uh, Giants, and uh, good job on Giants on that part. Good job. About time. So congratulations to Giants on that one. I have not noticed any severe issues. Now, it's not to say I haven't noticed any issues, everyone. Uh, and I don't know if the uh, video will pick this up or not, but every so often the screen will blink. Yeah, like it just did right there. I don't know if you folks, like I said, I don't know if that happens on the video or not. I don't know if that'll uh, come across there, but... Uh, no, we're just going to throw this on a hired worker. We're going to do this. AI worker. Um, don't think I have to change anything. We're just going to click OK, hired... And he should take off. Better be careful with the, how the game lags when it comes to walking. I mean, you'll end up walking right off the end of this. That is, and I'm assuming now, everyone, that's probably a feature. I'm guessing Giants intended it that way. But it is still, like, you know, I don't like it, Evan. I don't like it. And I know a few of you other folks have mentioned that as well. So it's not just me that's noticing that. Again, when you walk, it feels like you're lagging. Oh, that's a... This thing's a little quick when it comes to turn. I'm like, whoa, hang on. I believe that is the last uh, field we had to harvest here at this point, Evan, as far as I know. We do have 28... Uh, 20, what is on 27? Is that planted? 27 is... I think that's not planted, I think. It is plowed? Wow, it's actually plowed. And then 28 looks like it is cultivated. And I don't think we own any other fields that I know of. We definitely have some uh, large fields out on this uh, map here, by the way. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the harvester away. And I'm assuming the rice will probably want to hang on to that. Uh, figure out when is the best time to sell rice here. Crop calendar, that's our planting calendar. Which is actually probably a good thing to look at here. Uh, wheat. Oh, so we can plant... No, it's harvest season for wheat at the moment. Okay, so we can plant coming up here in September. We can plant canola right now. Might actually do that. Maybe we'll plant a field of uh, canola. Spinach. We'll have to see what's Might have to get into some of that as well. When planting seems early and looks like you can harvest uh, spinach all year long. Same for a grass and oilseed radish, huh? Although oilseed radish, I mean, you don't really harvest oilseed radish that I know of, unless the game has changed. There's no harvesting oilseed. You just cultivate it in. That's uh, that's what that does. Okay, prices. Bathtubs. Hmm. Well, I don't think we'll be selling bathtubs. Where will we find rice? Are these in alphabetical order? Oh. Looks like they are. Good job, Giants. I would say that's... Uh, I don't know. You folks let me know what your thoughts are. But I'm thinking that's probably a good thing. Uh... Because before, I wonder if you remember, they really weren't in alphabetical order. They were kind of more of a, find it on the list. Good luck. Uh, and we have, which rice do we have here? We got, so I'm still learning my differences between the rice. The other rice, is it long rice? Long grain rice. Which one do we have? We got rice according to this. Okay, so just regular rice. Yeah, we'll have to check and see when's when the best time to sell is. January again? For those of you remember farming Sim at 22, like 99% of the stuff was January. The odd exception, of course, was soybeans, which was July typically. So you know, let's see what's here. Rice going back down. Uh, best time to sell looks like it's going to be like July, August, September. Oh, so actually like right now should be the best time to sell. I don't know about you folks, I think we're going to go ahead and sell it then, because, like, no sense putting it in storage. Evan, let's go make some money off this. This is not a particularly quick-moving harvester here. 
No self. Next time I'll just uh, do this off camera here so you folks don't have to watch me. Yeah. <laughs> slowly drive this thing back. And slowly go insane while driving it back. I mean, no, that would never happen. Okay, that's good. Well, let's go find the truck here. Interesting icon it shows for it. Okay, well, let's go uh, see what's here. Where are we selling this to? Three, four, six, nine. Five, two, eight, five, five, nine. I do believe that is the best price. Is there a way to tag this? Hmm. Oh, down here. Okay. Three thousand five hundred and fifty-nine. Just double checking. So Harbor, Green Elm, seven hundred ninety-four meters away. Let me check the map here as well, so I get an idea where are we going for this. Oh. Harbor Grain Elevator. Okay. Well, let's head out there, Evan, and uh, see once what it takes to uh, sell some rice here. Road's right over here. Might as well just uh, take it right straight to the road, right? Feels yeah, harvest when we drive across it. Whoa, hanging on here, Evan. I, I just had to unpause the uh, recording here, Evan, because uh, I got passed by that car in front of me. That car literally just passed me. I'm like, whoa, what is this? And, like, we're moving, too. I'm like, I'm going, uh, I was going... 42, I think it was going 42 mile an hour here when I got uh, passed. That car literally passed me. I'm like, that's never happened before. Uh, not to mention, too, I'm like, uh, like all the previous versions of the game here, the traffic typically typically goes slower than the tractors. Like slow tractors, too. Like slow tractors are faster than the vehicles, ever, which I'm like, really? Okay, well, anyway, I guess we might as well just keep it running. We're almost here, I think. We got to go... Oh, I guess, yeah, probably this may be the best way, I guess. Turning. Turning. So, yeah, interesting. Apparently, uh, vehicles can pass you in the game. I was like, whoa. I was not expecting that one. I went, I seen the car behind me. I'm like, oh, okay, he's behind me. Huh? Apparently, he didn't like that. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, stopping at the red light? Whoa. There's some new uh, phenomenons here, everyone. Like, uh... They have never done that before, like, never. Fine, I'll wait for the red light. Where's, where's the horn? Come on, go. Doesn't seem to change it. Oh, well. Had to try it. I know I gotta wait for the red light. Fine. I'll wait for the red light. Anyone looking? No one's looking. Can we get fined for doing this? That'd be funny if we actually got fined for this, everyone. Doesn't seem to. Good. Okay. We're almost to the uh, the dock, like I said, so we'll just keep recording here, everyone. Right around the corner here. Looks like where we need to unload. We don't have a whole lot of rice. 3,931 liters. I still wish Evan Giants would have an option for bushels on that one. Does it super matter? Eh, eh, maybe not. Maybe not. But, I mean, we got everything else in, uh, you know, Fahrenheit and miles per hour and acres. Like, how, how come we can't have our crops measured in bushels? From my understanding, too, I've asked this question before. And if I understand it correctly, like, even over in Europe, they don't measure their crop in liters, to my understanding. I think they measure it by weight. Which kind of happens here, too, in America as well. Uh, a lot of times farmers like to use the term bushels, but then weight is also, like, weight is actually typically what it's sold by. But so, like, yeah, when you go to sell your grain, it's sold by the weight, not necessarily the bushels. Yeah, you might have a thousand bushels, but that's not how you're going to sell it. Like I said, again, it's going to get sold by the, uh, sold by the weight. So, anyway, looking at the time, I think with that, we're going to wrap it up here for this episode. So on that note, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, Evan, thanks for watching. Until next time.